How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to the Monday night update. Well, technically early Tuesday morning update, right? Just after midnight here, West Coast time uh, in California, about 12-12, March 12th, 2024. Latest activity shows uh, looks like 1.7 here into the area of Pecos, Texas. Around the oil fields, also a 2.2 coming into the Alaska area up there in the green flag. So let's see what's going on here. Just going to do a quick update. Uh, still seeing uh, quite a bit of deeper earthquake activity around the Fiji Islands area earlier uh, throughout the day on Monday. But uh, we did see a little bit of adjustment down there across New Zealand with a couple more deep earthquakes. Uh, looks like there's a really deep earthquake there around the uh, North Island area. Also a 4.5 coming in, it looks like. To the area around North Island, I told you we've got to keep an eye on this area. It's been showing some elevated activity here recently. Let me uh, check out that quake here and see what's going on from the uh, GeoNet servers. I think we got to go to the all magnitudes here. 4.3. Okay, 4.3. It looks like it's off the North Island coast there into maybe the southern end of the Kermadec Trench. Uh, there's another deeper earthquake there closer towards North Island there. 2.8 at 149 kilometers deep there. And uh, either, either way, we've definitely seen some more deeper movement quakes here across the North Island region here in the last 12 hours or so. Uh, so kind of continuing to watch this area. It is, uh, you know, kind of on that plate boundary here that really hasn't seen any major adjustment here recently. And we've seen activity all around it. Uh, looks like it's slowly starting, starting to fill in slightly there uh, with earthquake activity. Uh, still lacking some movement here across the Solomon Islands area. About Papua New Guinea eastward here along the, the uh, plate boundary to about the Vanuatu region. Continue to watch that. Also, if you notice here uh, on the Earthquake 3D globe, really haven't seen further activity here across the western edge of the Pacific plate. Rather rare to see it uh, quiet for so long. Uh, let's see what we got here for California. Let's go back here to the USGS map and take a look here at the west coast. I mean, if you look at all this emptiness out there. I know there's not a lot of uh earthquakes there on the map there is some obviously taking place some smaller ones uh, clustering going on across the philippines and a little bit of smaller activity across the java trench here but overall you know it's lacking some earthquake activity out here it's been like that for the past couple days all right west coast if we look here on the map here obviously uh lighten up here slightly uh, i don't think we've seen too much earthquake activity above the 2.5 level uh, looks like a 2.7 and a 3.1 here yesterday, but most of the earthquake activity is in the microquake department here. So uh, no major swarms that I can see. Uh, if anything, we're getting a little bit of uptick here across the area of Reno once again. Uh, of course, we've been watching uh, a little swarming going on here outside the Reno Sparks area here recently around the Steamboat Springs area down here. Uh, only two earthquakes here in the last two hour, or 24 hours, but we're noticing some broader scale uptick here regionally across this area of, um, you know, technically it'd be western uh, Nevada out here, right? So we'll continue to watch that, see uh, if anything kicks up there on the larger scale. Not a whole lot going on through Yellowstone. Uh, a little bit of activity across the area northwest of Las Vegas here near Indian Springs. Pretty shallow earthquake activity for a 1.1 and a 0 0.8. There's that activity out in Texas. And uh, someone was asking me about the Canada activity. Now, we definitely do check out the Canada uh, earthquakes here on occasion when, once we get uh, some activity going on up there. I did give it a glance here today. Let me uh, tune this up just a little bit larger so we can see what's going on. And uh, take a look here at the activity just offshore. This is at the northern edge here of the um, Cascadia subduction zone. Definitely seeing some stirring up activity out here. I bring up the legend uh, over the last week or so. Some clustering going on. Not anything big. Uh, looks like some fours and, fours and threes stirring up out there uh, in the last week or so. A little bit of clustering going on. So... Uh, I wish that the EMSC would add that data onto their map. Uh, that way we could see what the earthquakes are uh, doing up there around Canada. Uh, I may add the Canada source 
uh, as a data source here on the globe so we can kind of see what's being reported there by the folks up in Canada because I do have quite a few viewers up there and I want to keep them in the uh, keep them in the know it doesn't look like the USGS is reporting it nor the EMSC so but then again this is from the last week um, but I don't remember um, the um, EMSC reporting this activity but we'll continue to watch it uh, either way, some activity stirring up here off the west coast of the BC region and uh, a lot of activity out here across the eastern portions as well over the last month. Uh, within the last hour, looks like the latest earthquake is going to be right over here in this cluster of movement there along the plate boundary. A 3.9 earthquake from, uh, is, show, is that right? From 310? Is that the latest? I'm guessing that's the latest, but uh, a couple days old there. And that's at the uh, area of the Pacific Plate and the Juan de Fuca Plate, the northern end here of that uh, plate boundary. Uh, up into the Alaska region, really not anything major going on. Some uh, smaller microquake activity. Kuro Kamachaka, pretty quiet, aside from this one lonesome earthquake from uh, earlier yesterday evening, Monday evening there. Uh, about 178 kilometers deep for that earthquake. Not a whole lot going on across the Hawaii area. Uh, getting a handful of smaller quakes out here across the Kilauea volcano, stretching down towards the southwest or southeast. But uh, there's really no major changes going on there for now. Uh, a little bit of activity down in the South Sandwich Trench region here just last night for Monday night. 5.0 coming in, 129 kilometers deep here to the southern end of this subduction zone. Uh, the Iceland activity, see what we got going on here. It's been uh, definitely kicking up, and uh, let's see what we got. We got about 95 earthquakes, is that right? I don't see 95 on there. Hold on a second here. Huh, it's... It's showing 95 earthquakes, but I'm not seeing it in the last 12 hours. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, last eight hours, there's, I don't see 62 earthquakes on here, so I'm not for sure what's going on. But uh, looking at the last 12 hours or so, uh, you know, it looks like things have kind of tapered off here around the Grindavik area. A little bit of movement, though, south here of the area. I still think we got the potential of seeing some eruptive fissure activity take place within this zone of Iceland but for now just kind of taking a little break out here we'll continue to check back on that as needed all right space weather activities run over and uh, check out the solarham.net site not really seeing anything major going on a little bit of a uh, B flare activity I mean that's not even really anything to chat about uh, that's going to be coming from 3599 over here on the western limb Still harbors, uh, you know, uh, somewhat of a complex structure here that harbors uh, the potential for some maybe C flare, maybe an M flare, but that will be rotating out of sight, out of mind here very soon, and we are left with not a whole lot, but uh, we are noticing down here this one little sunspot area, uh, getting a little bit of complexity growing around that center core. That's going to be a, a unnamed sunspot, so it looks like it is rapidly developing. We'll continue to watch that. Uh, as that uh, will be facing the Earth here very soon. A little bit of amplification here on the KP index earlier this evening, but it looks like that has since died down. Not a whole lot of auroras there in the forecast either. As you can see, green across the board means no green in the sky, unfortunately. All righty, uh, let's see. Storm Prediction Center for severe weather. Not a whole lot. Uh, looks like maybe on uh, day two here, which is going to be for Wednesday, there's a slight risk for some severe weather, and that includes a 5% chance for tornado probability around Kansas City, Missouri, the Overland Park area of Kansas as well. Uh, so just a heads up, and a uh, pretty big hail threat out there as well in the hatch zone. That area has a potential of seeing some, uh, well, at least a 10% or greater of 2-inch diameter hail within about 25 miles of a point. All right, looking at these long-term models, here's our little rinky-dink storm out here across the West Coast. It may not be uh, that up in the Pacific Northwest, but down here in Northern California, I think I picked up five hundredths of an inch of rain here. So not a big deal. That is our last system here for about a week. 
uh, across the west coast. We're going to warm up and dry up before it looks like maybe a wetter pattern kicking back in. Well, it was. It did show a little bit wetter pattern going on here this morning. So this model has changed already. It's a ways out there. So we won't know until we get a little bit closer. But either way, we've got some warmer, drier weather coming out here to California. And that's okay. Uh, I could use some 70s and even some low 80s potentially out here as we head into the... Uh, Oh, it's supposed to kick up here roughly, I think after uh, this weekend here, towards this weekend and next week. All right, I uh, hope everyone has a good Tuesday. Stream is up and running. I think I got everything set up as needed. Did a reboot earlier, had some issues with it, crashing. Not for sure what was going on. We've got a 4.1 coming in right now to the Middle America Trench, northern edge here off the coast of Mexico, it looks like. So that's the latest earthquake there. Also, a little bit of movement there outside the Bay Area, 1.0 and a 2.7. 2.7 from earlier. So we'll just kind of watch this, see how this plays out. Elevated you know, activity here across New Zealand. A lot of deeper activity. We are noticing some surface adjustment taking place here as well. So just be prepared. Uh, potentially for some larger movement. Haven't really seen any further advancement here across the Western Pacific, though. It's awfully quiet, so that means that areas out here should still be on guard, and uh, obviously it looks like some regions are showing that elevated activity with that four-pointer, and also down here across the South America region looks like a five-pointer coming in. All right. Have a good day, folks. Um, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later. I'm going to uh, hit the sack here and get a little bit of sleep. Before the sun comes up, take care. We'll catch you guys back out here uh, in a few hours. Take care.